Hey everyone, Dracovich here, and today we're testing out Tainted Grail the Fall of Babylon, their new patch, 0 0.7, the Kanak Rebellion. It adds a whole new zone, weapons, spells, it adds a lot to the game, I'm really excited to try it out. So, we're going to hit a new game. Now, I got, I can start from the Kanak Rebellion, but... We're just going to check out the DLC. Probably going to do a full playthrough later. But for now, let's just check it out. I'm going to try Mage because they added a lot of spells to the game. Actually, I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to... I have it on hard, but I don't know if I can know how to play a spellcaster good enough. Just loading up here. All right. I'm not too picky on what my character looks like. Change his hair. The graphics look a lot, like, better than they were. Like the hair. We're going to do normal. Just because I'm starting off partway through the game. <laughs> Just to show you guys. Please do not skip these few tutorial messages because they're really important. We've made some crucial changes to the game and we're still in the process of integrating them smoothly into the natural flow of the experience. They may not be as self-explanatory as we would like them to be eventually. From now on, whenever you'd like to rest, level up, or cook something, you're able to set up a bonfire in the game world. In order to do that, you'll have to open the quick wheel and switch to the second tab using the right mouse button. This second wheel, for now, will allow you to set up bonfires, call back your horse when you get one, and use the spyglass. So there's mounts, there's horses, which is really cool. Okay, this is a staff. Here's a quick overview of some of the new features you'll find in the equipment screen. So they got loadouts on the equipment screen. Loadouts are a very important part of the game. You can prepare up to four item sets and you'll be able to change on, on the spot during gameplay using one, two, three, and four, or the quick wheel with Q. These allow you to easily equip, easily experiment with various builds and play styles. Items you put in quick slots and the item fill slot will also be available for you in the quick wheel menu. Use these for the most important items such as health and mana potions. The trick with autofill slot is that the suitable items will fill it automatically with the most effective item placed there by default. One additional important thing, you can use items you put in quick fill, quick autofill slots during gameplay with X without entering the quick wheel. Okay, X, gotcha. You can also cycle between them with C. This makes the throwing knives much easier to use. Okay, so that's how you use throwing knives. You gotta put them in the... Okay. Well, my character looks cool. Necromancer. So we got Deer Gadoo's Kiss. Channeling sucks the life out of your target giving a portion of it back to you and then the skull staff on hit restore five percent of damage dealt as mana shield cool incoming damage is divided between health and mana this one is arcane shock spark i mean shocks the target with electricity that's what we got here Scorching Pathway creates a horizontal line of fire which pierces through all targets. Handling increases width and damage but costs more mana. 
flame torrent shoots flames into cone, damaging and setting everything ablaze. Icicle blast. Oh, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> Slows movement and attack speed. Well, when fully built up, it turns into frozen. Frozen fully disables the ability to move and attack for a short duration. So... That seems like a really good combo. <laughs> Is it again? So, Scorching Pathway. Let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my mana comes back over time, so that's nice. I am so tired. Nice to have a break. Hmm? Who's there? What do you want? We're just sitting here, not bothering anybody. So there's no need to bother us. What are you doing here? Working hard. <laughs> We're recruit, rec gathering people. But we don't need anything from you. <laughs> You've got some guts. Walking right up to a pair of Dalrita without even flinching. Well, well. Impressive. Indeed. We're Dalrita. We make sure that the Camelot scum infesting Kuanach don't even dare to think about heading south. Imagine a Camelotian who's also a deserter. Unbelievable. Even Grindelos have their honor, unlike those scum. And catching a deserter? Now that's a real treat. What do you do with those you capture? We do what any honorable warrior would do with deserters. We help Camelot get rid of their cowards. You could say those vermin owe us a debt. Thanks to us, they're well fed, and Denim pays us handsomely. A Camelot legate, he commands the rabble you see swarming in Kuanach. He's decent enough, and he pays a good price for deserters' scalps. Are there a lot of Camelodians? Aye, there are. We've been here for two years now, and are multiplying like vermin. It all seemed innocent at first. They were just supposed to help the local lord to mine resources. Ha! Huh. Sure. And those nitwicks from Kuanacht fell for it like naive children. So when the troops arrived, they were caught completely off guard. The Red Priests came along with the troops, and then... Out of nowhere, the Red Death resurfaced. Even now, as the Camelotians aim to take the Menhir, the village is torn. Some want to go to Camelot, others want to stay. It's a complete mess in there, my fair help me. She won't. The goddess doesn't like people like us. Shut your Yo, mouth. thanks for follow. Clapping your gums like a wench in a brothel. Anything else? Or will you be on your way? What up? Good hunting. I'm so tired. It's nice to have a break. Oh, careful with that. We don't want any accidents. <laughs> These guys are hilarious. That thing looks sick. I wonder what that is. This looks amazing. I gotta fix my chat, guys. Hold on. Oh. 
<laughs> Can you chat now? Oh, nice. <laughs> I used to love Nido King when I was a kid. I remember trying to get him as fast as possible. Oh, Lieutenant Surge. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough, dude. <laughs> you gotta get a grand type. What is, what is nozzle lock anyway? I forget. Permanent death. Oh yeah, yes sir. Whoa, this attack does massive damage. I popped in your stream for a second, but uh, I was also streaming. <laughs> so, I couldn't stay for long because I was going to start dropping frames. Can't believe I had three months follower only on. I've been streaming for like a week now. Two weeks. <laughs> you didn't get a copyright for that? Dude, magic is so good in this game. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked him. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, Rachu has insane speed. He's like crazy in that stage of the game. <laughs> Thunderstruck, yeah. <laughs> I actually beat him with magic. There's uh, <clears throat> there's music in this game, but apparently you'll get a copyright strike, so I had to turn it off. You can execute him. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be a bad guy in this, this playthrough. Oh shit, he got back up. <laughs> this game is really fun. And uh, the people who made it. They're like, they're like really passionate about this game. Really nice people. And the lore comes from like, uh, like the lore is sick. It comes from like a tabletop game, like a series of tabletop games. And it's all based on King Arthur. I'm, I'm, uh, might have a uh, giveaway soon. Have some keys to give away. They, this, this update literally came out today. So I'm doing like a little, uh, I like I'm trying to promote it for them. 
They gave the gave me a key, right? But the reason they gave me a key is because I was already playing the game because I thought it was cool, so. <laughs> and there's like uh staff, right? Oh wait, now let me show you the skills. Yeah, look at they just redid the skill tree. So I'm level 20, and I just got to the DLC, which is, uh, I guess it starts around level 20 after you beat the main game. And then you have, um, your stats. And you even get, uh, like your armor has stats. You get like special armor, like rare armor and stuff like that. And, um, at night time, the weirdness will come out. So it'll be like this darkness that enshrouds an area. And when you go into it, all the enemies are stronger. And, uh, when you kill them, you get unidentified items. And then you can, uh, Hold Q and hit the right mouse button and you can make a bonfire. You can uh, identify them at the bonfire and like rest for the night if you're done or whatever, right? But it costs ethereal webs that you get from killing enemies to burn the, the bonfire. I don't have a horse yet, so I just started this playthrough. Prepare for battle. They had like slow motion deaths too. Is it throwing knives? Oh shit, I got an archer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, here's a horse. Let's go. Every time I find the meaning of life. What are you poking around here for? You're one of them, aren't you? You better sod off, or else. Calm down, Bryn. No one will be so stupid as to show. We're gonna have to do a such a mess. A streamer collab. We'll have to excuse Bryn. None of us are in the best of moods lately. We'll have to excuse Bryn. None of us are <laughs> in the best of moods lately. Someone has been sabotaging our equipment for the past few weeks. And it looks like it's a professional job. Yeah, raid right, each other. They know perfectly well how to make life difficult for us. And after what happened last time, my people have had enough. They refuse to work. They don't want to risk their health. You have any suspects? Bandits, probably. Or rebels from Kunacht. Although at this point, <laughs> they're one and the same. The workers refuse to keep working. Not only do they feel threatened, but... Well, there's no denying that not everyone from Kunacht is happy about what we're doing here. I can understand them, in a way. We made them destroy their own land. They should just give up. 
If they piss Denim off, it's not gonna be pretty. Bryn, calm down, please. Remember why we're doing this. It's for their own good. And we have our orders, for which we are held accountable. It's us or them. What happened last time? The bandits used to come at night, destroy our equipment, and then disappear. But last time, they beat one of the guards unconscious. Poor Saad was just lying there, like a tenderized steak for the whole night. He lost a lot of blood. And when we finally managed to wake him up... It turned out that Aedwin wasn't himself anymore. His head was all messed up. Bastards. Yes. He was delirious. Kept seeing strange things. He thought we wanted to hurt him. <sighs> what now? We have to catch those scumbags. <sighs> Something See Valheim's bad, update? That's for sure. But for now, we wait. Denholm doesn't want to give us any more guards. So, if you want to earn some money, we could use your help. Have you tried it yet? Workers <laughs> claims to have seen the direction those thugs ran. They're familiar with the area. They mentioned a cave. I'm not sure if this is a good lead, but it's worth checking out. Cave. So, what'll it be? <laughs> That's good to hear. If you find anything <laughs> out, come back to me. Eh? I'd say it was. I'll send someone to Denholm with a report. Good luck. Tomorrow's another day, right? Just have to get through today. All this nonsense around I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> We gotta check out this cave, guys. Well, I might as well go to town. Tomorrow's another oh. day, right? <laughs> I didn't even see it. Have to get through today. Why does everything always feel like a bother? <laughs> I might have to turn that bot down. Oh shit. Get out of here, Lars. Took me out. <laughs> Little red cap monsters. Tomorrow's another day, right? Just have to get through today. All this nonsense around here. It's enough to drive a person mad. There we go. Turn out followers only. Alright, let's try this again without getting murdered by gnomes. I didn't know which way I went last time. Are you going to do another nuzzle lock?
Lower city. Nice. What time are you streaming? A commander's mind must be sharper than his sword. You notice a strange commotion. The red priests are here, demanding access to the vault beneath the statue in their search for people infected with the Red Death. Their request is met with a refusal from a man named Murig. His haggard appearance doesn't exactly exude authority, yet for unknown reasons, he has the support of Camelot's legate, Denholm. As you focus on the men here, their voices fade into the background. When I'm going to stop becoming nothing more than distant in an hour and a half. Noise. I'll watch your stream. The men here, it reacts to you. You lose consciousness for a moment, and when you come to, all eyes are on you. Murig steps forward, declaring that your presence changes everything. He asks you to meet him in his cottage. Your arrival seems to have ignited a spark of hope. A chance to revive the dying men here. Apocalypticuses, apocalyptici. You so. Oh, the argument over the men here seems endless. Some people must be very bored yep. to spend their lives on that. And there are so many more interesting things to do, right? You know what I mean. What? It's obvious you travel. You must have visited dangerous places and searched for treasures. I'm Bonksy, by the way. I'm an adventurer myself. I have a few trinkets to sell from my last expedition. Want to take a look? Open shop. Merelic. Does additional magic damage. That's probably going to be pretty good. Spell damage. Plus one skill points permanently, mm -hmm. but it's 2,475 gold. Yeah, every day is the same. All that yapping around the men here must be giving Kunark a terrible first impression. Honestly, I'm almost relieved we're being forced to leave. I can't see any business bouncing back after all this commotion. Ah, but where are my manners? I'm Alwyn. And you, my dear stranger, look like you're in dire need of resupplying. If you're looking for solid, affordable gear, you've come to the right place. What do you got? That's pretty good. It's heavy armor, though. Got all the basics. Damn skeleton statue with too many arms. It's astounding how seemingly grown people treat it like the center of the universe. Um, yes? How can I help you? Feel free to take a look at my assortment of wares. All crafted using scientific methods and completely free of magic. Muttering something earlier? What was that about? Oh, I'm just venting my frustration over the disproportionate amount of attention the mania receives compared to its actual value. It fascinates me that people are almost willing to kill each other to defend a giant energy transmitter of unknown origin with potentially dangerous long-term effects. So how do you think we should defend ourselves against the weirdness? If Camelot and Kuanacht had dedicated as many resources to finding a safe, scientific way to protect us from the weirdness as they do arguing over a magic stone, we might have already found a solution. But now, it might be too late. Well, 
Wow, that's good gear. You can save up some money and buy that. Men here. I wonder what's in there. Let's check it out, chat. For science. Very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Something definitely takes place down here later. Come back to this. Sharper than his sword. And home. I've heard from the two Dalrite Rita that you offer payment for the scalps of deserters. Who told you that? The Dalrita? I've never paid a single gold coin to the Dalrita for deserters, not even once in my life. But since we're talking about deserters, some of my men do appear to be missing. Among them is Emery. My trusted adjutant. Right now, I consider him missing in action, since Emery is not the type to defect. If you could find him, or whatever's left of him, I'd be very grateful for a report. I keep an eye out. Grateful. Emery is not only an experienced soldier, but he's also devoted to Camelot and very pious. His disappearance is really hitting morale hard. What about those deserter scalps? So, if you can handle the deserters, you can be sure I'll reward you. You see, it's hard to keep the men's morale up in these uncertain times. It's really no wonder that every once in a while, some of them try to desert. Still, this is the military. Desertion is unacceptable and will always be punishable by death. Camelot especially insists on nipping the problem in the bud. Anything else? Um. I wait right your return. Carry on then. Go check some side quests out. <clears throat> Main quest isn't finished yet, so we're going to. Afraid to jump down there. Check out some side quests. Why is everything always such a hassle? This tan is really cool, though. Skill. 
Where is this thing? We're just gonna have to go exploring. That's fine. <laughs> hey, magic is pretty sick. We may be in for a fight. Oh, there's a deserter. Tis but a strike. Tis but a mere flesh wound. this do? Oh, yeah. Tis oh. a flesh wound. Get cut off in the stump. Such a cheap shot. Shit. Blow for blow. I had worse. Oh, he stabbed me. You got me, chat. You got me real good. Oh yeah, take that. Blow for blow. Okay, I like mage. Mage is fun. Weird night. During the night, enemies can become much stronger, so beware because you never know what will happen once they transform. However, they will also start dropping ethereal cobweb and unidentified items. You'll be able to identify them at your bonfire after you fuel it with ethereal cobweb. Three, I should sell that heavy gear. If it were something. God. What does this do again? Banish. Banish the tiger for 8 seconds, making it disappear for the duration. Okay. Poisonous cloud. Okay. So which one's which? <laughs> yeah, that's poisonous cloud. This is banish. Oh, missed. Set up. And the potions. He's chilled, you see that? staff take this fancy armor keep this worth something
I gotta figure out how to throw knives. Cobwebs, boys. any recipes. We're inside the weird night right now. Oh, it pierced. Or exploded one or the other. Hit both of them. Deserter scalps and apocalypse. They're in the same spot. Let's go, go back and check it out. Actually, let's try this bonfire mechanic. This bonfire. Bonfire allows you to cook, rest, and level up. There's no other way to add stat points and skill points you earn until after leveling you earn after leveling up. <clears throat> However, the bonfire can be fueled by ethereal cobweb. Fueling your bonfire will protect you from the weirdness at night and allow you to rest safely. You can also it also allows you to craft alchemi alchemical potions, use fast travel, and identify items. We'll let you explore experiment with these features. Fuel Alchemy. Oh yeah. Make some health potions. Make some mana potions. Strong mana potions. Oh, level up. I got one point. Increases the mana drain of your summons. Spectral weapons penetrate shields. Spells charge faster. Your summons have extra HP. I like this whole summons thing. Could also do this. It's like critical hit damage and stuff.
do this charge. I want to get this one. Weak spot, hit supply, chill, build up the enemies. What's Prey do? And spent stat points. Chance to loot additional items. A little more spell power. daily So tired. Why is thing always such a hassle? Welcome, traveler. If it's a quick coin or a small quest you seek, and you found the right man, well, a quest you say. That's the name. And I'm the one who pay up for bandit heads, deserter scalps, and any other nasty artifacts you might bring back from your adventures. And if you're looking for well-paid work, check the bounties I'm posting on the notice board. Yes. Excellent. Here's your gold. Yes, Eat jobs actually. for me. Besides the bounties listed on the notice board, there is one other matter where I could use your help. I need someone to investigate an old mine. The workers haven't reported in a while, and the rest of the men are tied up with more pressing orders. If you ask me, the mine was depleted, and the workers probably just left. This happens quite often. However, I'm concerned about the lack of communication. Even if the mining was finished, they should have reported back to me. The job is yours if you want it. You will, of course, be well rewarded. Go oh, check what's happening in Thank the, you. the mine. It's good to have someone like you at hand. The job gets done and I don't lose men. Both of us benefit from this arrangement. Yes? Off you go. Where is the bounty board? Talking to myself again. I guess it's one of those days. Calm down. It's just your imagination. There's nothing out there. Oi, you. You're new here, aren't you? I don't think I've seen you around before. Ah, no, sorry, That's sorry. Man. It's just that we don't see many new faces around here. Just us and the locals and... Well, if you haven't noticed yet, they're not the friendliest bunch. They seem friendly enough to me. Do they? Then maybe we're all just sick of looking at each other. I'm sure they're not all bad. This must all be quite hard for them. But it's not like I want to be here either. I've got a pregnant wife waiting for me at home, and they won't even let me buy a book for her. A book? Yeah, about birthing and labor and whatnot. It's gonna be our first, you see, so my wife's worried sick. 
I wanted to send it to her to to ease her mind, you know. But that dowry a wench chased me out of her bookshop and won't let me back in. <laughs> Dalrita owns a bookshop here. <laughs> I know, right? And here I thought I'd seen everything. I was sure they didn't even know how to read. Anyway, Vrel seems to hate my guts. What were you chased oh, Because she hates camel oceans. Why else? I mean, I know the folks ain't exactly happy about us being here, but Vrel? She's Dal Rita. They're taught to hate us from birth. That's all there is to it. I guess you want me to buy the book for you? Well, could you? I'd be really grateful. Just don't tell her it's for me. She won't sell it to you otherwise. Please, I I'll pay you back. I'll even throw in something extra. Please, for my wife. All right, I'll buy you the book. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Farewell. Stay on the paths. The other areas are too dangerous. If I just stay put, everything will be okay. Talking to myself again. I guess it's one of those days. Every decision weighs heavily on the scales of fate. Isn't it obvious? For the safety of all the residents of Avalon, only by gathering the Meneers in one place and reigniting them will we be able to keep ourselves safe from the wordness. Avalon's population has significantly declined over recent years. We're on the brink of extinction, damn it! That's why we need to stick together, to take care of each other. Only Camelot possesses the necessary infrastructure to establish the right conditions for its people. If they remain here, they will die. Either from the wordness itself, or from the horde of monsters it spawns. And there aren't enough soldiers here for their protection. You must know that I didn't come here just to obey orders. I truly believe that this is the only way to save everyone on Avalon. What if your plan doesn't work? What if the weirdness remains a threat? Then, at the very least, we'll have bought some time for those wiser than us to think of an alternative solution. Perhaps we will invade Tuathan, like in the glorious old days. Or perhaps someone will find a way to free the derelict fleet, allowing us to return to the homelands. I don't know. But there's one thing I'm certain of, and I'll repeat it as often as necessary. Only by standing together can we overcome the wordness. Scattering our people across the island is the worst solution, and it's a sure path to our ruin. Why do you need that, Murig? Murig, who apparently prefers to be called Maggot, is a druid, even though he may not look the part. And druids are the only ones who knows the rituals necessary to ignite the men here's. Due to bad luck, or more accurately, the decisions of my superiors. Our options for druids are limited. That's why I'm forced to work with Murig, and, profit be my witness, neither of us is happy about that. I'm no fool. I know that what happened in front of Menea might make Murig consider double-crossing us. He'll try to find a way to reignite the Menea, so that it could stay in Kunakt, despite our <clears throat> agreement. So, if he ever asks you to fetch something for his ritual, make sure you come to me first. Is Kunak really in danger from the Red Death? How would I know? That's what the priests are for. Go ask them. It's been years since I last saw someone infected. Although, I have to admit that their fear-mongering about the Red Death has been useful. Thanks to the priests, the people here have become much more inclined to go to Camelot with us. Is there anything else you need from me? I'll await oh, their return. Stay vigilant. Leadership is a burden. We'll find some sad quests. I gotta sling some magic at somebody. For a dark route. Just sit in the thick.
David here. They might whoop me. We gotta save up for that new armor in the shop. Oh, oh, it's a worker. I thought they were bandits. Hey, you! Stop right there. Seems we have something to settle. <laughs> you broke the law and pissed off a few people around here, especially me. You'll pay the fine, or we'll resolve the situation in another way. Choice is yours. Uh, or you can stick your fine. You filthy cur! I'll teach you a lesson. Oh God! They got pickaxes. Oh, what happened? His <laughs> magic arrow destroyed me. Ah, uh, I'm a criminal. Can't take my magic from me. Ah, oh, your magic arrow is hitting the wall. <laughs> And the smack with staff. The only way. escape I think I can I might as well take all this huh nothing to see here Just a guy walking out of prison. <laughs> Dual wield of magic. Quick guys. Okay. It's nice to have a break. Oh, he realizes. I think he thinks something's up, guys. Something's <laughs> not right here. I think he thinks something's up. Wait, maybe if I put my magic away. Did it work? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> hey, you! Stop right there! Well, well, well. The scoundrel has been caught, and now you'll have to pay a fine. Either you do that, or our little <laughs> ship will take a slightly different direction. Uh, I will pay the fine. Guarantee. Have a nice day. Who cares with that? Nice. Blow him. Oh, you whooped me with one sword strike. <laughs> All right, we, we see what happens when you're a criminal. Let's go back to before I killed the workers. I thought they were bandits. I swear to
Careless follower, what's that? Go towards that. How was I supposed to know? The good or bad. Tis but a scratch. So you scratch. Poison Knight? Oh my god. Try to hit as many as possible. What's coming down from the sky? Crazy. What's happening? Weirdness. Poison Knight's great sword. I'm encumbered now. And they're fourteen fifty each. Okay, we'll drop that, drop that. Definitely drop that. Careless followers should be right here somewhere. Like that. Doors are shut by some mysterious power.
Stay with that, guys. Get a phone call. Alright, let's follow her. Was <laughs> I supposed to kill him? Oh, I don't think I was supposed to kill him. Damn. I gotta be more careful who I'm killing here. Yeah, one second here, guys. Still here, I'm just doing something real quick.
Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. How's it going? Dang, I attacked this guy without dying. Or without killing him, I should say. Oh, he's not gonna attack me. Weird tower. Can I go in here? Up by mysterious power. Cool. Permanent mana increase. Check out whatever that is. Forest of Death. Should have drank a mana potion. It's so saved right here. I'm not used to magic yet. Magic level fifty eight. Oh, I should have identified all my stuff, huh? That would have been nice. Alright, I'll see you over there soon. Talk to you later. some stuff. Yes, I can drop that. See moon fire. Took a lot of my health. Uh -huh. 
good place to level up. Dark Hunt's enemies here. What is that? Marrow gas. Oh, it's the bird. Weird stump. This place is wild. Crazy. Get him out of here. Banished didn't work on him. Be very careful being out here. There's a lot of enemies. And a lot of trees back in there. <laughs> oh my god. Got mauled to death. We're going to switch up our spell combination, I believe.
Game's harder than it looks. Especially when you got no armor. Wait, is that Carla? Your soul is diseased. There is something poisoning it. But it isn't the Red Death, is it? I can't sense that in you. Yet I detect a trace of wordness. It looks like your fate was sealed. But then something shifted your life's direction. Hmm. You're an intriguing one. I am Carla. What are you doing here? We're tracking a man. His name is Lemuel. Ah, Lemuel. The not saint saint. The most zealous of the doubters. A long time ago, he did something terrible. And we're trying to hold him accountable for his past sins. Why are you looking for Lemuel? Why? Because I still have nightmares about the night he took my dignity. Because that night has never really ended for me. He took advantage of me when all I did was try to help him. Then he fled. It's not something one can forgive easily. I certainly can't. Now he seems to be an old broken man. A facade he adopted years ago. He's even begun to believe it himself. But that doesn't erase who he is or what he's done. He's a defiler, and sooner or later he'll hurt someone again. How can I help you? What can I do? There is a way. Horrible sins affect the body. They petrify it, even though such a thing may not be visible to the naked eye. When you find Lemuel, simply whisper a spell to him. Quiran, Shom Piakai, Istich, Arange Corp. And then bring him to me. That's all? That's all. You know what to do. Think and burn. You're here. You said you could not sense the Red Death within me. What did you mean by that? The eyes of those afflicted show a unique kind of pain, unlike anything else. Even in those who've recovered, you can still see the vestiges of their suffering. The Red Priests say the Red Death affects both the mind and the body. They are right about that. What spreads through your body is... Something more. It touches the very essence of one's soul. I'm afraid there's not much that can help with such a condition. Who are the people in front of the tent? My loyal helpers. I'm not so proud as to call them worshippers. But if you ask the outsiders, they might say my helpers are just poor souls. Bewitched by an evil Pictish witch. <laughs> Oh, don't believe in superstitions. They're simply grateful because I cured them of the Red Death. Nothing more. How did you cure them of the Red Death? Those close to the wordness can be cured. It's a skill known among the Picts. You're using the weirdness to heal people? Oh, yes. As you can see, the wordness can be a force for good, too. It's such a shame that with the druids gone, we've also lost the hope of fully harnessing this potential. Oh, I'm not quite sure how I do it myself. It seems like the Red Death and the Wordness somehow complement each other. Interesting. Come back again. Okay, so... Where is the guy that I have to find?
Okay. Speaking of unidentified items, I need to identify all my items. Bonfire. Beautiful. Identify. Deeper potion. Increase jump height. Monster blood. Ao. Moss grass. Fish oil. Careless orb. Crit chance. Plus five per. Yeah, plus five percent. Boots weapon, heals, sets your skill and stat points, return them to you. Ooh. Consumption leads to suffering, wolf spain, sheep's head, milkweed, swift steps. Interesting. We got nothing to level up there, arrow the stats. No. Ray, nobody answered your call. Cook. You like cook at least. All right. Back on the road. Save this. I'm gonna hold it, it gets bigger. Oh. That's what she said. Gobbler. Okay, save game. <laughs> Sketchy as hell. Dave's gum. Girl gassed. Is this the guy? Is this the mule? Or is this an enemy? Greeting stranger. May the word bless your day. Is there something you need? A warm meal? 
a place to rest. Or perhaps you're in need of a weapon to bolster your courage as you travel through these dark and troubled lands. I haven't gathered much, but you might find something useful here. Speak of the word, are you a member of the Red Church? At the end of his papacy, the 18th Pope of the Red Church issued the Papal Bull of Calling. It's truly a sacred scripture. I often find myself going back to it, as the word therein moves me deeply. Out of all the verses, these are the ones that resonate with me most. May all those called by the word never be forsaken by it. If your way of the word leads you through thorns and whips, embrace it and become an inquisitor of penance. If your way of the word is that of a sword, blood and fire, shed the blood, fuel the fire, and become an inquisitor of pain. I have been called, so... Here I am, and this is my truth. So you're an inquisitor? Unless my interpretation of the papal bull of calling is wrong, then yes, that's an apt description of what I do. Therefore, if it's words of comfort you're seeking, I'm afraid you've come to the wrong person. I don't perform priestly duties. <laughs> Show me your words. Is what I have. Red priest robe, great health. Ooh. History of the island asylum. Poison arrows. Small health, mana. Okay, we'll buy those. Wonder what the history of the island asylum is. We'll have to read that at some point. Cause that's I think that's a tutorial at the beginning of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, what is that thing? What? I hit both of them. <laughs> way through the woods. Oh my god, it's a grounder. He's pretty good against fire. Yeah, 
Wait, what about electricity? Oh, yeah, I don't like electricity. What is that thing, cat? Noka Elevi? What the? F oh my god. Poison. That's AoE. This is single target. Yeah, this thing is a monster. This dump. What's he shooting at me? Oh, he got me. That thing is crazy, dude. Intense. The spell animations are amazing. Wow, the enemies are really cool too. Oh my god. My body. I think this does the most damage to him. Gotta be careful about it. Maybe not. Maybe I just do this. Yeah, it's definitely the most damage. That's the name. Knuckle V's sword. Oh, is he like a boss? I'm gonna check his sword in a second. Somehow I doubt it though. One handed. Uh-oh. 
There we go. Is that a fast travel point? Yeah, corrupted temple. We made it. Come on, let's do this. So I gotta go soon. I'll be doing right now. I see something. I think we just got a good email, guys. Very nice. We got some keys to give away in the channel. I'm going to have to uh, figure out how to do that. And then we'll do it. Corrupted Priestess. Oh my god. Is that better than what I got? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a priestess now, but... Could be tankier, too. Half of Othelia. Wait, leg covers? Fail. Shoes. I don't know if I have the shoes. Shoes are better. Veil, nice. But I don't even have a rope on. Looks like a dungeon. Question, wait, which one? This is better, is it? The staff, is that staff better? I think so. But uh, I don't have any mana. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of them.
make you pay for that. Oh my god, what is that? That's marrow gas. This is wild. That. <laughs> okay, that was intense. This is a big dungeon. There you guys. <clears throat> Leg covers, I must have threw that eight. There's something in there. Oh, what's this secret? I'm running out of mana potions. God, what were they doing in here? Well, nothing for mana. Common great health potion. Exquisite strong health potion, nice. Stay sharp. Oh, she full healed. No freaking. What? What's this? Restore six mana. Nice. Kill me. Oh, that was close. Yeah, what do they have letters on their bodies just to make me feel bad about killing them? Sessions of the High Priestess Melora. Let's read it. As the High Priestess, I was entrusted with the sacred duty to guide and protect our order. 
the All-Mother bestowed me upon me the wisdom and light to lead my sisters, yet it was I who led them into the abyss. The whispers of darkness promised us salvation in our time of despair. Crops failed and our people starved. In my desperation, I sought a way to save them. Turning to forbidden knowledge and dark rituals, I believed I could control the shadows, harness their power for good. I was wrong. The darkness consumed us, tainting our souls and turning our sanctuary into a corrupted temple. My sisters followed me, trusting me in my leadership, and I led them to eternal damnation. Now, as a wraith bound to this forsaken place, I hear their tormented whispers, and I know the full weight of my sin. I betrayed their trust, leading them away from the All-Mother's light and into endless darkness. Let my confession stand as a dire warning. Even the purest intentions can lead to ruin when one strays from the path of light. May the All-Mother one day forgive my transgressions and free my sisters from this cursed fate. Lifeblood Sapphire plus two. Incoming healing. Nice. True All-Mother All Mother's Mercy Amulet. Destroys all mothered mercy, increases max health. Wait, what's it do? Destroy all mothers mercy, increase max health by 5%, and restore health instead of dying. So it brings you back to life. Let's do this one. This one increases my max healing. Wow, that was cool. I think that's the end of it. Use this journal. Fading Ember. Ignites enemies when they hit you in close combat. Sounds really good. This is some wild level design. And no loading screens. Unless you die. <laughs> Keep your wits about you. Boom, back of the head. Back there. I'm screwed. Hey, I fell off. Some of them are super strong, and some of them are... You have to level up and try this again. The staff does like no damage. Literally no damage. 
Oh, that one did. All right. Let's do a little level up here. You will identify. Let's see. Identify. Allows you to use. Allows to use fast travel. Okay, that's cool. Fast travel. Fast travel. Oh, got lots of those there. Oh, what was that last thing? Swift steps. Grindy low tooth. Daffodil. Now let's level up. Um. Anything but mana recharging? Get that. And then we'll go over here. Executive hits increase your crit chance. That sounds good. Death. I gotta put some in here for encumbrance limit. Yeah. <clears throat> so that seems like a pretty good stopping point because I have to go soon. But uh, that was really fun. You can take that from someone who plays a lot of video games. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, and follow. Keep an eye out. I'm going to do a giveaway soon. And uh, thanks for the opportunity to do this sponsorship. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.